All right. Guys, I'm back. What is up, guys? I don't even know how to begin this video. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, anime is back, question mark? Uh, yeah. Uh, last time you guys saw anything from us was podcast episode 7, which I think we uploaded in June or July. So it's been definitely a minute. Uh, a ton of shit has happened. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. But, uh, if you're seeing this now, this means at least I'm alive and trying to make content for you guys. Jackson and Quentin are doing well. We're still friends, still the closest of friends. We just, we, I gotta be straight up. We haven't found any motivation or any good, like, video ideas to put out and upload to you guys. Um, but yeah, today is December 31st, New Year's Eve, and I, you know, I was thinking, man, I can't leave the fans hanging, I gotta upload something out there before the year ends, because it's been so long since we've done an upload video, or <laughs> upload video, uploaded a video, and I was thinking, you know, uh... It's been such a long time since I've done a manga haul that I'd show you guys what I've been collecting over the past like six or seven months. And let me tell you, it's a bunch. It's My room layout's definitely changed since the last manga haul. I think my last manga haul, it was just, it was a black bookshelf in there. If you can tell, it's white now. I've definitely moved a lot of things in my room around. But, uh... Yeah, it, not, it was not nearly as much as it, or it was very small, to say. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd make a video showing my whole room. And, yeah, basically what I've been doing for the past six or seven months. Uh, a bunch of shit has happened. Um, I've, uh, I have a girlfriend now. We've been together three months since september that's going great um jackson moved uh from our hometown and then he moved back a month later so that's awesome he's back now and uh yeah me quentin and jackson still the bestest of friends we still talk regularly um but yeah i don't know when they're gonna make a video or if they have any video ideas, I know I have some, so maybe I'll do some more videos. I, I want to do more videos for you guys soon. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'll just stop messing around and give you guys a room tour. I guess I'll start over there where it all began. Uh, just make my way around the room. So I guess let's go. All right. So, I mean, I guess, I don't know how I've shown this before. Probably it's been in videos. It's gaming setup, nothing too crazy. PlayStation and D Pokemon games and my DS, which I play on. And, you know, just Lego Sonic figures custom made. I'm pretty sure they're not officially licensed. And then Spider-Man figure. Then we got posters and Keyblades. Awesome. And then we go over here. Don't want to show that yet. Spoilers. And then, uh, yeah, so this is a white bookshelf I had. I bought a few months ago. You guys definitely haven't seen it. I just got, like, a bunch of my favorite uh, DVDs and Blu-rays right here. Got some Back to the Future and Marvel. And I've started to collect a lot of anime Blu-rays. We got, like, Code Geass, Steins Gate, Evangelion, all that stuff. Basically, my favorite. Some of my favorite animes on Blu-ray. So that's pretty cool. And this is my uh, Final Fantasy Shrine shelf. Just, you know, got some games. I got the 7 soundtrack and 8 and 4K Advent Children and a uh, hardcover art book. That's awesome. Next shelf down is my Kingdom Hearts Shrine collection. Uh, favorite video game series of all time, this is so, so near and dear to my heart, you know, got the 
Kingdom Hearts Ultimania. My games, I got Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 CDs I got from eBay. Those, these are really cool. I got some Kingdom Hearts manga. And then I got some figures of Ventus and Kingdom Hearts 1 Cloud. Down here, we got some art books. We got an Evangelion art book. We got Jojo Nicole, uh, which I got from Amazon. Jojo art book. And Rohan at the Louvre. And then the, this is one of the first, like, manga, technically, I got. Um, the Naruto official character data book. And then there's nothing on that bottom shelf. And, uh, yeah, that's that little quarter. This is, like, personal favorite stuff and, like, collector's items. I don't know you, what you would call that. I don't... This is definitely new, I think, since the last video. My, uh, Final Fantasy VII shrine wall i got all these posters in a bundle from right stuff anime or amazon one of the two for like 18 20 bucks something like that and i got all these little posters final fantasy 7's my second favorite game sec oh what was that second favorite game of all time so i just taped them all to my wall it's really cool i like it a lot and yeah so that's that wall and you're going to see a trend. I'm running out of wall space. So if I want more stuff on my wall, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, this is my Naruto shrine wall. Some posters and some of my favorite manga panels. Which I printed like oversized with my printer. I, I used up like all the black and white ink for these po uh, pictures. So that's nice. And I also have some Mik uh, Hatsuno Miku posters. Um... I take to my door because I have no room for them. So yeah, I I, I don't I not only have two, but I have a third one right there, as well as a Jujutsu Kaisen poster. Um, yeah. And then we move right here, and we got an Attack on Titan poster, framed, came with some Attack on Titan box set, double sided. I think this is the cooler side, so I framed it hung it on the wall we go below it we got some bleach posters that came in two bleach box sets so we got those taped to the wall because i love the bleach art style and now we come to the biggest highlight of my room my shelves if you cannot tell i've gone crazy with my manga collection it's I don't, I don't even know how much money I've spent, but I know it's in the thousands. So I guess we'll just start in this first one. We'll start at the top. I started not only collecting manga, but figures as well. So uh, yeah, I got three C2 figures. One in a bunny suit and Santa and just regular clothes. If you cannot tell, I like C2 a lot from Code Geass. So yeah, I got three of those. That's pretty neat. One of my biggest highlights of my collection is I have the first two Bleach box sets. Um, the second one I got for Christmas. First one I got for my girlfriend. Love her. I can't believe I have both of those. She definitely spoiled me for Christmas. And so, yeah, I, I bought another bookshelf in preparation for Christmas. And yeah, I have the first 48 volumes of Bleach. Also, I have read all of Bleach. I have read a lot of manga since the last time I've made a video. I've caught up and read all of One Piece. I've read all of Bleach. Um, I started to read Berserk. I've read, I've caught up on Vinland Saga. I've read the quintessential quintuplets. I've, I'm reading uh, Rosario Vampire right now, which is surprisingly, surprisingly very good for a harem, in my opinion. But yeah. Volumes 1 through 34 on this shelf, and like, I just love Kubo's art style. Just like, the progression is so amazing. Like, I gotta say, out of the big three, Kubo's character design is probably my favorite. And in this shelf, we got volumes 35 through 48. And then I got an Ichigo figure. For Christmas I was like you know what I'll put it at the end of the volumes I had all this visualized in my mind and I think it looks pretty dang good pretty dang sexy on the shelf and then in this corner we got burn the witch which I got from Barnes and Noble 
like a week ago the bleach spinoff which is i think i believe it's set in the uk where bleach is set in japan this is set in the uk i have yet to read this but it's also by kubo of course the god so i had to get it and this shelf i am starting to well i am in the process of collecting all the berserk hardcovers I've read the first three oversized volumes, which goes up to the end of volume nine. And volume four, the hardcover starts at volume 10. So I'm trying to get volume six so I can just binge read it. Because let me tell you, the oversized volumes of Berserk, it's way better than reading the smaller versions. And um, it's definitely better than reading it on your phone. And they weigh a lot, but they are so cool. So I'm probably going to start reading 4 and 5 this weekend. And hopefully, maybe after I finish reading Rosario Vampire. Because I do not like um, starting two series at the same time. And then two blank shelf spaces for something later on. You know, more manga, you know, manga addict. Then behind these figures right here, we got Attack on Titan poster. And I have more right there. Love Attack on Titan, it's one of the best anime I personally have seen. And uh, we begin like this One Piece shelf, kind of. So we got a Robin figure, very, very nice. Uh, Monkey D. Luffy figure, gotta love the goat. And this is a Colin figure from Code Geass. I was gonna put it with these other Code Geass figures, but I was like, there's three C2s, I gotta put it on, a, on top of a shelf by itself. So she's by her lonesome. Maybe she'll join the other gals later on. And then, yeah, this is um, the One Piece shelf. So I have caught up and read all of One Piece, all a thousand plus chapters. I read it all in two months, which I think is like very crazy. I basically sped read through all of it. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm collect, I want to collect all of the three-in-ones because all the spines have a different picture of Luffy and they look really nice all together. And then I have some single volumes of like the new recently released um, volumes like 96, 97, and 98. But yeah, I have a figure of Bo Hancock and Luffy. These are part of a matching set. I got these for Christmas. And then I have a Zoro, Luffy, and Sanji figure. These are like 20 bucks. But love these three. One of the best trios in the big three. I gotta say One Piece is probably my favorite manga. Or second favorite manga. It's either One Piece or Jojo. I, it flip flops. But I think it's the best out of the big three. I think Bleach is second. And then Naruto. I think Naruto is still great. It a, has a very near and dear place in my heart. But after experiencing these two. I'd rank it. First One Piece. Second Bleach. Third Naruto. That's how I'd rank it. Fight me in the comments about it. I don't really care. And so, yeah. Love One Piece. Love the characters. And I'm still reading it weekly. I can't believe I can say that now. I read One Piece weekly. It's crazy to think. I never... You know, going into One Piece, it's very intimidating because it's very, very long. But after reading all of it in two months and really getting connected with the characters, I can say it's definitely worth it. And this shelf, I basically just made like a Shonen Jump viz media shelf so i started to collect like single volumes of naruto that they i've they've had at my local barnes and noble i want to hopefully collect all of naruto manga one day uh kaiju number eight i heard this series is really good i've seen a lot of videos about it on tiktok i've yet to read it though just have volume one um i've read all of chainsaw man i've read all of i've caught up on jujutsu kaisen so I've just been collecting all of them. Chainsaw Man is great. I have all of those currently. All of Jujutsu Kaisen out at the moment. Mashal, uh, Magic and Muscles. This is like a Harry Potter kind of shonen, apparently. It's like, I've heard it's like Harry Potter in a way. But I have yet to read it, but I guess I'll just collect as much as I can and just binge read it, I guess. That's what I'm going for. Um, I have Dr. Stone's uh, Dr. Stone volumes one through four. I read the first two volumes. I haven't read three or four and I've been trying to get volume five so I can like binge read the series, but everywhere we'll look and volume five does not exist. So I want to get back into Dr. Stone cause it was pretty good. 
This next shelf is Attack on Titan. I have the whole entire series, all 34 volumes. You can see volume 34 is a little bit thicker because it's the end of the series. And then I also have Attack on Titan No Regrets Volume 1 and 2, Levi's Backstory. That's pretty neat, I'd say. Um, down here is like uh, Kodansha Comics uh, shelf, basically. I have all of Rent a Girlfriend at the moment and the spinoff Rent a Really Shy Girlfriend with Sumi Chan. And then, yeah, I've watched the first two seasons of Quintessential Quintuplets and it was so good I had to read the manga afterwards, so I'm caught up on the manga. And luckily, Falling 14 is the end of the manga, so I have it all. And then for Christmas, I got a silent voice, so that's really neat. Oh, seven volumes. And down here is just miscellaneous, like, single volumes of, like, series I'm trying to collect. All you need is kills. One sh is a one-shot. Well, it was two volumes, but now it's, like, a one-volume. Do you like the Nerdy Nurse? I get to read these two. Uh, Dress Up Darling, Hills Paradise, I heard is really good. It's getting animated by MAPPA. MAPPA has a lot on their hands. They're animating Season 4 Part 2 of Attack on Titan and Chainsaw Man and JJK and... Hell's Paradise, and it's just crazy, man. So, yeah. Uh, that's the end of that second shelf. And then, uh, this third shelf, we got some more figures. We got, uh, Mari and Ray from Evangelion. Uh, I watched Evangelion since the last upload. Really enjoy it. It's in my top five. I also have, uh, Miku in Ichika from Quintessential Quintuplets. They're probably my two favorite quintuplets out of the series. That's why I have those two in swimsuits, of course. Gotta be culture. And then, um, yeah, I really am trying to collect all of Vinland Saga right now. Got the first four volumes, which is like the first season of the anime and just volume 11. But I've read all of Vinland Saga, probably one of the best manga ever. It's probably my top three manga, honestly. Like, Thorfinn, the main protagonist character of development from volume like one to the most current volume, volume 12, which is out, is crazy. Then I have an Edward Elric figure. And yeah, I've I watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood for the first time a few months ago. It is amazing. I started to collect Full Metal Alchemist, the full metal hardcover editions, which are like new, newly released. So I want to collect all these at one point. I only got five of them. Then I have one of my biggest highlights is all of Evangelion, the manga, the three-in-ones. These are very hard to come about, come by, especially volume one. Um, I had I requested more of these volumes at my Barnes and Noble, and they actually got them. So I'm glad I have all this. Love Evangelion, and the, the manga is actually different, at least the ending to the anime. So that is pretty neat. And then I also have um, I bought the Death Note manga box set from right stuff anime um i don't know a few months ago or so because it came out it was on sale and um everywhere I, or it was in stock and on sale and it and you know i've looked at the death note box set before and it's always been out of stock so when it came in stock i was like you know what i'll just get it maybe i can read all of death note um so yeah this is like the death note shelf the box set and all the single volumes out of the set. I've still yet to either see or read it, but I, I plan to get to it at some point. And then one of my favorite shelves is the JoJo shelf. So yeah, I have all the JoJo hardcovers at the at this point. Part one, part two, part three, part four, and part five is coming out in English right now. And as you can see, I have some Japanese volumes. I have Thus Spoke Kishibi Rohan. Um, in Japanese because I'm a big JoJo fan and then probably my biggest prize uh, possession in my collection out of everything is the Steel Ball Run box set my favorite JoJo part um yeah there's 16 volumes in here and just like man the art is just ooh, don't fall the art is just so crazy Araki really came into his own with part seven. It's very unique, I feel like. Definitely my favorite part out of all eight parts. So yeah, JoJo Shelf, JoJo Shrine, whatever you call it. I just ordered a Jolene Kujo figure um, off of Plaza 
japan.com so i'll probably put that right here and it'll really like bring out the collection and so yeah i love jojo probably my favorite manga if i'm being honest uh that or one piece they flip flop for me it just depends next shelf i have uh a blame oversized master edition volume i heard this manga is really good it has like little words but the art is crazy so i got this at barnes and noble i'm trying to collect all black lagoon this is a very like rare manga series i don't see a lot of people have i'm missing volume nine and three and i can't find them anywhere and they're very overpriced on ebay and you can see like some of these volumes the viz media symbol is different so yeah i love black lagoon i have the blu-ray 